One of the best things that has happened to me was getting multiple sclerosis. It's rather ironic, but I became disabled after working 35 years in service to people with disabilities. I started taking care of other people as a nurse's aide in a small town in Wisconsin during the 70s. I learned early the satisfaction one gets from helping others and I had a knack for understanding people in a society who are sometimes forgotten. I was the voice that many of them did not have. Every weekend for five years I lived at the group home in an attached apartment and supported them in their daily living skills. After that I moved to Eugene, Oregon and applied at the University of Oregon semi-independent living program to be a community outreach worker for the developmentally disabled who lived in their own apartments. Every weekend for five years I lived at the group home in an attached apartment and supported them in their daily living skills. After that I moved to Eugene, Oregon and applied at the University of Oregon semi-independent living program to be a community outreach worker for the developmentally disabled who lived in their own apartments. I was forced to resign my position. I suffered more severe symptoms of MS which were debilitating back pain, difficulty with balance, falling, and vertigo, and finally the use of my right leg. Retiring was not as easy as I thought it would be. It took two years of counseling to allow myself to see this transition as a gift and to let go of the bitterness I felt at having to give up my life's work. The people I supported needed assistance to make it on their own. I saw myself as a big sister who was around for moral support and to help them cope with life outside institutions where they had been incarcerated for so long. During that time I received the Direct Care Service Award from the ARC, which is a national organization that advocates for people with disabilities. Ten years after that I received the ARC local and state award for a lifetime of service to people with developmental disabilities. It was within a year of that award that I had to step down from my position. It is rather ironic that I would one day be disabled myself. The people I've supported have taught me well about survival and how to adapt to the life of a person with disabilities. I was forced to resign my position. I suffered more severe symptoms of MS which were debilitating back pain difficulty with balance, falling, and vertigo, and finally the use of my right leg. Retiring was not as easy as I thought it would be. It took two years of counseling to allow myself to see this transition as a gift and to let go of the bitterness I felt at having to give up my life's work. I was experiencing extreme fatigue and felt weird vibration sensations when standing on the floor much like a tiny earthquake that only I could feel. I was also extremely affected by heat, so in the summertime I experienced heat exhaustion symptoms. Because my foot dropped, I got a brace on my lower leg and I started using a cane as I was experiencing dizziness and nausea. Then on October 30th, 2007, my life as I knew it changed. I hurt my right leg again and the whole leg went numb and no longer worked. I also experienced the new intense nerve pain in my back and sciatic area. The pain was so debilitating that I could no longer perform my work requirements. I know you're wondering why I started in the first part of the story that MS had was one of the best things that happened to me, but it's true. My whole adult life I was an overachiever and worked long hours. When this disease started I just kept ignoring the signs and kept working until the day came that I could not. I know that chronic stress is not good for people with MS, but I just wouldn't listen to what my body was trying to tell me. I'm one of the few people who would cross over from being a support person to being disabled myself. But how could I complain? Most of my folks have been disabled since birth, some living in wheelchairs and working and coping with it all so courageously. Now it's not to say I didn't have an adjustment period, being the big sister to 26 adults. The last five years I had worked that was brutal trying to keep up the pace. I can now hear the wind blowing, the, tree, the leaves off the trees, the sound of the rain, the touch of a friend's hand. I have all the time in the world now. MS has slowed down my life. It has also opened my eyes to a whole new life. So let's put our brains together and support brain research.